to me. That bridge. Okay, good. Yes, I beat that in your lines by now. That's great. Okay, great. So there's my mean. What about my uh, standard deviation? Standard deviation. We use standard deviation dot s for sample. Select my data. That's how I create. That's how I get the standard deviation. <coughs> oh, what about my uh, what about my range? Well, to get the range, you have to do what minus the what? Uh, Lower range. Ah, yes, you're right. So. <coughs> So my maximum, pretty easy. Max function, look through the range, min. Oh, hey, what's that 100 doing in there? Oh, yeah, that's right. Your own instructor threw that in there for fun. I don't remember what that first number is. I'm sure it's in the book. <coughs> but I changed it to 100. Because that's an outlier, right? Should be. Range equals, you just said it, min minus what? or max minus min, gives us a range. Anything else that we did before? What about this one? Um, what about this one? We did those, right? You guys remember all this. You're like, man, there's got to be an easier way to do this, right? There's got to be. There's got to be an easier way to do this, I think, right? We do quartiles and stuff too, right? I'm not going to beat that to death. So we can do it the hard way, or we can do it the easy way. Now, <coughs> here's my public service announcement on Chapter 3 homework. Wherever you say, wherever you read, it'll say, use descriptive statistics to do this. Whenever you hear the term, whenever you read the words, use descriptive statistics in any one of the problems, you're going to do exactly what's in the back of Chapter 3 in Appendix 3.2. That is bring up a descriptive statistics tool. And here's how I'm going to do it. Now, whatever you log in, here I'm going to take this back down to a little bit, a little bit farther here. People in the back, sorry, I got to split it for me. The machines here at the school, you have to do this every single time you log on to the machines here at the school. So here's how you're going to do it. Your book's going to say, your book's going to tell you, oh, go into the data tab, and you're going to have an analysis group. Well, guess what, folks? I don't have an analysis group, so I have to add it. The only way to add it is to go into Excel's options to add it. And here's how to do it. Files. Yes, so we're going to file. <coughs> Excel's options are always there. Add-ins. So file, options. Add-ins. And then add-ins. Very good. And then go. So file, options. Add-ins, go. File, options, add-ins, go. File, options. Did anything in this class as well you get tired? <clears throat> but Nick, at home, I already have it up. Super. And you don't have to go through these steps. You only, we don't want the visual basic for applications. We're not writing macros in this class. Just click analysis tool pack. So file, <coughs> options, add-ins, go, analysis tool pack, OK. I don't mean to be obnoxious about this. I want you to get it. But Nick, nothing happened. I clicked OK and nothing happened. What tab did I tell you it was going to be in? Data. Yes. And look what shows up now. There's my analysis. So, so once you've gone through those steps, the add-in is added to the data tab. Click the data tab, click data analysis, and I know it's a lot to go through just to get there. Okay, I got a nice little big list here. So I'm going to choose for statistics, and click OK. All right. So now the tricky part for some people. 
I'm going to try to beat this into the ground. This may not be the only time I talk about this, ball, but I'll repeat it again. Make sure your cursor is flashing under input range. Your input range is going to end up being B2 to B13. Why am I not choosing A2 to A13? Why am I choosing B2 to B13? Oh, wait. Scratch that. Try that again. <clears throat> if you don't include the label in the first row, when it spits out the data, it doesn't tell me where the data is coming from. It just has like this blank. I'll show you guys in a minute. So make sure you select the uh, label in the first row as well, B1 to B13. I'm not interested in the graduates because, well, is, are these actual numbers? Is this, are these quantitative or qualitative? Uh, quantitative. Qualitative. <laughs> these are numbers that were randomly assigned to different graduates. The dollar amounts that we're calculating with are these ones, the quantitative variable. So B1 to B13, and then you should always check label in the first row. Again, you don't do this, well, it's not going to really tell. You guys have probably figured out from the homework by now. <clears throat> Even if you miss an axis label, I tell you about it. And I will continue to tell you about it until you get it totally right. I will be the easiest person to go on you for making mistakes. And it's okay with me. It's okay. I'll grade your paper 100 times if I have to. <clears throat> so labels in the first row. Now, down here under output options. Now, you can put it in a new workbook if you want, but I like to put it in the same sheet. So I click output range. I'm going to put it right next to, now oh yeah, here's another thing too. To click output range, where is my cursor still flashing? Uh, uh, input uh, range? Yeah. So we need to make sure we click what? Output range. Click in the output range. I'm just going to click over here somewhere. Yeah, I'll click in the uh, <coughs> one. Now, I'm not done yet, though. I need to click one more thing down here. Which one of these do you think I should click? Uh, oh, you guys are so good. Yes, we'll deal with confidence levels, because as we get into the uh, later chapters, you're going to be using this again to answer questions. This descriptive statistics will answer a lot of your questions. And when we start dealing with confidence intervals, then we'll just start checking that box, but not yet. Okay. Here we go. Let's hope it works, huh? What was the second box you chose? Summary, Summary statistics. Summary statistics, yes. So it should be input range, labels in first row, make sure you select that first row, that B1, A1, whatever whatever column you're choosing. For some of you it might be J1, for some of you it might be Z. You all turn in different work. I love it. Except for when two people do the exact same thing, and I think they're working together, but you know who you are. Then labels in first row, and then output range. I'll click output range. You notice I want to keep it in. The, I'm keeping mine in the same. Why am I keeping mine in the same sheet? Why would I want you to keep it in the same sheet? To compare. Back and forth. So that I don't have to flip back and forth. Very good. Yes. But you, you back want extra credit? What's that? Extra <laughs> <laughs> credit. I'm a little double Five deaf points? in going both ways. <laughs> so. Soon, soon. Everybody in this class should get something in that column by the end of the semester. Oh, sorry, folks at home recording this. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I get a good laugh out of that too. All right, so now we're going to click. Please tell me that's going to work. Ooh. Wait, what's wrong with this first column? You got to spell it out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Hey, how'd you do that? Unless I just double click between the columns and it auto fits it. So, you see what I mean about including? Ha! See what I mean about including the header row? So, if I didn't include that, this would be blank. And then I would have to ask you, where'd you get that from? <laughs> I knew that would be picky. I knew that to say, I don't know what this stuff is. So, 
Do you notice anything? Wait, where's my range? Where's my range? Hey, look! The same. You also get your variance. I told you guys, don't even play. What does that mean? Let's go to the left. To the, to the left. To the left. I told you guys, we don't. I'm not going to talk about resources. Everything else is fine. Oh wait, what else is in there? Count. Yeah, yeah. Wait a minute. So I've been doing all. You guys will learn about standard error shortly. <coughs> so wait a minute. So I've been calculating all this stuff on my own, and all I had to do was throw this in there, highlight some stuff, and that's it. So, folks, when your problems ask you to use descriptive statistics, you're going to do what? You're going to. Should I see something like this? And then you're going to see the question and go, hey, it's right here. Hey, it's right there. Hey, there's the answer. And then you won't have to do any formulas. You won't have to do any crazy equations. I'll do this, and that means I know you used it. Unless you try to like format it like that, and then I'll <laughs> determine if you did or not. Can you delete like certain things like kurtosis without it giving you like an error message? Ah, you mean like, like this? And then like the cells can shift that. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Wait, what just happened? Oh no. Nothing happened, that was just good. It's wild. Some of you got extra credit tonight. Some of you. Don't worry, everybody in this class, you're going to have many more shots at it, including next quiz. Looking forward to the next quiz. Next quiz, next quiz is one-on-one, -on -one, not against me. You get somebody else in this class, and there'll be some people sitting up front, and I'll be sitting up front, and it'll be a different line of questioning. It'll be fun. It'll be 20 points. You know you got to show up. Injured or not. When is Still that? showed up. Uh, it's whenever we're done with chapter four. Whenever we get around to that. Wait, chapter four is coming up, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And there's spring break. Next week. Spring break next week? No, 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 no. Spring break is not next week. But next week we'll go chapter four and after no. that spring break. I think we're gonna have it. I think we're gonna have it before spring break. We better. We better be in the probability before I go on my trip. Anyway. So I'm going on my trip. That's my family will still be here. <laughs> I have to use my probability skills. Well, yeah, what's the probability of that happening? Like I do. It happens every year. So the probability no is... Yeah, I do enough. Put my time in. Okay. Where do you go? I'm not going to say that I put my probability skills to the test. So Lucky point. I just... You probably have an idea where I'm going for a couple of few days. But anyhow, I usually come back good. So most of the time, most of the time. So anyhow, <coughs> yes, I know probabilities quite well. So Vegas, maybe, 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 maybe the road. I don't know. Somewhere. I'll be somewhere. TJ. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. I'll come back, bird. Maybe. I'm in five minutes from the casino, but I've never actually handled it in that casino. I don't know why. Okay, anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, my gift to you.